Elena Demensova, thank you very much. It's so nice to see you. You're looking great. How are you enjoying life outside of tennis, away from tennis now? <laughs> Well, it's a different life, you know. I I studied journalism in in Moscow, University in Moscow. I'm married. I have a different life, but I still miss some part of the game and um, still practicing from time to time. And just very happy to be back, you know, at the Fed Cup uh, final to feel this atmosphere to support my team and. Um, uh, hopefully it's going to be a nice experience again. I remember when you were part of the Russian team that won at Roland Garros uh, and I said to you on court, you've just won the Fed Cup and your face just lit up incredibly. <laughs> Do you think of those days? Well, for sure I remember this moment. It was one of the best uh, moments in my career and playing this doubles with Dinara. It was an incredible feeling to beat you know, the French team with Emily Marisma and Mary Pierce, it was, a, it was probably one of the best moments in my career. So um, I think that Fed Cup has always been very special for me and I uh, always wanted to play, represent my country in this competition and I think everyone, every player should be proud of being part of this event. You mentioned that you studied journalism. What made you pick up journalism? I thought you'd be fed up of speaking to the media. Well, I always wanted uh, to go study, and I think journalism is something that I always was, you know, interested in. And um, um, it um, helps me to be close to the sport, to tennis, and uh, to feel this all, all this emotion, all this atmosphere again. So I'm really enjoying this for the moment. So, how much uh, commentary work are you doing, and how much more are we going to see you out at the tournaments doing commentary? I don't know. Um, I have my own program. I have my own show on the Russian Tennis Channel, and I used to work for the Ice Hockey Channel as well because my my husband played hockey. So I'm kind of between these two sports. <laughs> so I like to the commentating is interesting, and especially you know um, when it comes to the big events or the Fed Cup final like today. So uh, you know, I hopefully I'm going to come to the tour. <laughs> How are you enjoying married life? quite different to being on the tour and having to travel with a husband and all that. At least you've got time to spend with him uh, away from tennis now. Yeah, now it's my time to wait for him, support him, you know, and uh, be a good wife. So um, um, I think it's, it's, it's different, but it's, it's very nice. And uh, uh, thanks to Maxime, you know, I, I still feel like I'm in the sport and all these emotions that uh, you know, d during his matches, you know, makes me crazy. So I'm. It does. You get very nervous. <laughs> yeah, I do very nervous, and I always say that um, I was never nervous uh, by the time I was playing. <laughs> but watching you and sitting on one place, it's it's very hard. <laughs> So what are your plans for the future? And, and let me, before I ask you that, besides the tennis, uh, sorry, the commentary and being a wife, what are some of the other things you like to do? I'm still traveling a lot, you know, it's a big part of my life. And uh, for the moment, I am just enjoying my time with family. You know, I was missing uh, so many things by <laughs> playing on a tour. So now it's time. Uh, to be with my family, to enjoy this time, and I really like it. So what about the future? What, have, what, have, what are your plans? What have you got in store? What are you thinking you're wanting to do a little further down the line? Start a family, things like that? Well, for sure, yeah, we have these plans. But uh, for the moment, I'm, uh, I, like, like I said, I studied journalism, and this is my last year. So when I finish uh, this university and see wherever it goes and try something else, just um, you know, keep myself busy because um, I like to do uh, something and uh, be busy with the sport, with tennis. It's great seeing you. Thank <laughs> you for spending some time with us. Thank you.